Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let's get ready to... It's the wrong one, my bad. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for attending today uh, to watch the union of these two beautiful people that we know, Cody and Shelby. Shelby states that Cody is a fun, loving, considerate, hardworking father to their four children, Austin, Addie, Bentley and Grayson. Bentley and Grayson. Cody, Cody is constantly there, so she never has to worry about him not being there to support her. Now, Shelby's mother, Chris, is not really easy to impress. But for some reason, she accepted Cody, even though she questions his handyman skills. All right? Yep. Um, she loves how Cody's always there to support Shelby and the kids. Now here's Cody's side of the story, and it's completely different. He claims Cody or Shelby stalked him and put the full court press on until he eventually had to say yes, he'd go out with her. But we all know that's not true. Stupid Cody. <laughs> Cody says the first thing he noticed about Shelby was the tattoos on the back of her legs, which means he was peeping looks at her when she didn't know. My man. <laughs> now it's time for Cody and Shelby to recite their own vows. Cody, start with yours. Yeah. She, she's gonna be so mad because I didn't write it down in our books. Oh. <laughs> I told you. I told you. It's really pretty book. I even gave it to you. She did. A week ago. A week ago. I could have. I apologize. I can't believe it. We are actually here today saying our vows to each other. Promising to be each other's person, or better yet, each other's lobster. That's a friend's reference in case you didn't know. <laughs> the day, uh, excuse me, this is the day that I've dreamt of since I told you that I loved you. The day where I laid next to you while you napped and envisioned what a life with you would be like. Shelby, they say a life lived in love will never be a dull moment. And honestly, seven years later, I can confidently say that truer words have never been spoken. It's crazy when you think that this entire thing began with a three-year-old and a Snapchat dog filter. <laughs> it sounds way worse than it really is. I swear, <laughs> it really isn't that bad. <laughs> Between betting on Cubs and Giants games to try to get you to go on a trip with me, the Giants did win that series. It was 2-1, just in case you wanted to keep score. Mm. We don't keep score though, right? No, okay. they do. Yes, that's right, okay. Uh, to, traveling as, to traveling as a family, to softball events, baseball tournaments, dance recitals, and more <laughs> laughter than I can possibly count, everything has led me to here. I'll never forget sitting down uh, with my mother one night talking about you, actually more like gushing over you. Uh, when I got done talking, my mother looked me dead in the eyes and said, as you would so eloquently put, don't fuck this up. <laughs> Apologize again. Um, I appreciated her honesty. Uh, my mother loved you for all the same reasons that I do. Stupid weather. Uh, <laughs> holy cow. You hold me accountable, even when I don't want to be. You, uh, you are not a pushover. You love family, you motivate me to be better than I was the day before, but more than anything, she loved you because she knew how much you loved me. You know me better than anybody else in this world, and somehow you still manage to love me. You are my best friend, one true love, and there is still a part of me today and there will be every day that cannot believe that I am getting to spend the rest of my life with you. I cannot promise you everything, but here's a few things that I absolutely can. I promise to listen to your advice and occasionally take it. I promise to never, oh, I said I promise to never keep score even when I'm winning. That's wrong, right? Okay. Yes. I promise to always admire your passion for change. Constantly, actually. <laughs> I promise to even do the dishes. Correctly, probably not, but I'll do them. It's fine. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to face changes as we both change in order to continue to strengthen our bond. Sweetheart, I am not perfect, but I promise to always do my best to see you smile and support you in your endeavors. I promise that I will not just be your spouse, but I will be your biggest fan. <laughs> That's a beautiful no book. I use the book. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty book. Uh, I need everyone to understand mine are quite literally half that. Is that a it's notebook? A it's in a book, so it's better. It's a notebook. <laughs> 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 
Cody, you came into my life when I least expected it. And at least expected you. And I am forever grateful that you did. You've become my best friend. And I cannot imagine a better partner in life and to continue with than you. I do not promise to never argue or fight because, well, that's just not realistic and not me. However, I will promise that instead of I'm sorry to bring you all the snacks, which is my version of I'm sorry, is to share with you the food that I actually don't want to share with you. Exactly. <laughs> I promise to celebrate each victory with you and to support one another through the hardships we will face together. We are not equals, but that is why we work. When you fall short, I am there. And when I fall short, well, good luck, because we're both screwed. <laughs> I am excited to continue experiencing all life has to offer with you by my side. I promise to take care of you when we are old, because honestly, I don't trust our children to do that. <laughs> but I swear to God, the first time you hit me with your cane, yeah. I'm scrubbing your dentures in, in toilet water. That's gross. <laughs> Don't hit me with your cane. All joking aside, I promise to love you even when I do not like you. And I will attempt to always have patience with you even when I have no desire to because at the end of each day, I know wholeheartedly you will always be there when I need you, no matter what it may be. So now we're gonna ex the exchange of the rings. Ring dude. It should slide easy with all that hair. It's fine. Oh, is this still on? Well, guys, that was beautiful. Gabe, quit crying. <laughs> with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, by the powers invested in me by the Universal Life Church and the $39.99 I spent online to become an ordained minister, I now pronounce you man and wife. Cody, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Whoop it up, people, let's go! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please let me introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Shelby Baker!
road that you wander Burning like some bottle rock Let me fight for your honor Raise a wall for your truth Build it up like a fortress Wave the flag when I come I talked to Cody earlier today about looking for a, a special memory story that stood out outside of anything. And it's kind of crazy that like all of our, our friendship has just been fun. There, there hasn't, we've been through really hard times and moments and loss and, and transitions, but everything has still just been a smile on your face. And, and I love you for that. And I love that as a friend. No matter what, up or down, we know we have each other. And now, I cannot wait to make more memories with Shelby and this amazing man, her now best friend, Cody. I remember when Shelby first met Cody. Actually, let's be real, it was so long ago. I just remember him coming along and Shelby told me to behave, be nice, and that she really liked him. I was like, okay, so you don't want me to be myself, and I have to be okay with sharing you. Got it. 10 years later, it's all going great. I'm behaving. <laughs> Love this guy so much, as well as I can see a lot of you guys do too. This family of, oh, thank you. <laughs> This family from Slow Pitch and just the community that's around him. Um, he's such a great guy for a, as a father and as a husband, as I can see. Like, he's just awesome. And Shell, like, we grew up as moms together. You allowed me to be a mom to that awesome little boy right there. And I love him with all my heart. And I just thank you so much for <laughs> letting me. It's been an absolute pleasure of mine getting to know you and to watch you. And I love seeing the way you deal with the kids, not just Cody, but the, the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> you are far and away one of the most incredible multitaskers I have ever seen. Things I've watched you do and it's and the kids are Still getting in trouble. <laughs>